Hi, uh, today I wanted to show you a quick tool to connect to a serial port on uh, Unix systems such as Mac OS, Linux, FreeBSD uh, to explain to you the problem. I'm going to switch to my, uh, to my phone to have a camera. There we go. So, um, Here's the situation. I've got a Raspberry Pi that I want to connect to my computer over serial because I do not have an Ethernet port to control the device and I do not want to use the Wi-Fi. So I've got this little uh, tool. So it's a CP2102 module from uh, Silicon Labs that you can order online. This one cost me three or four dollars and I bought it on AliExpress. And so, oops, you can connect uh, this device to your serial, uh, to, to the pins on your board. In my case, it's a Raspberry Pi version 3. There we go, if I can get the focus. So you can connect, so you can get 3 volts power and 5 volts power as well on this, uh, this little uh, tool. I do not have anything connected to it because I do not need uh, power with it. So I directly plugged the pins on the GPIO pins on, um, on my Raspberry Pi and uh, I'm going to connect it to my adapter which is connected to my uh, Mac. So let me get back to uh, the computer. I'm going to show you the tool. So the tool is available on GitHub. It's called Boot Term. It's a very, very simple C program to ease connection to serial ports, which is which are found on various SBCs, which is the Raspberry Pi in my case. And it's typically USB based ones, which is my little adapter. So to compile it, it's very simple. You only need a C compiler and uh, git if you want to clone the git repo. I'm going to show you how it works. So, uh, get the URL of the repository, get into a terminal and clone the repository. Like this. Okay. So, cd into it and simply run make to build the binary. So it's a single binary. It will be available in the bin folder. You can move it around if you want to. And I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm going to start with the little help. So this tool is very simple in the sense that you can simply run it and it will get the latest uh, serial device connected to your computer and it will start listening to it. Uh, you can use dash L to show the detected serial ports if you need to choose another one. By default, it's going to run at 11.52... 11 kilobods, sorry. Uh, you can change that with the B flag. And uh, something that is pretty cool is that you can enable timestamps in the terminal and you can even change the format if you want. And another useful feature is that you can um, export everything in a file to a file. There you go, fact, capture. So you can uh, enable the capture of the output to a file that you can use later, which is very useful when you want to debug something. So to start, you simply run the device. And the, the binary, I mean, and uh, by default, it used the last registered uh, device. In my case, it's not this one, but I'm going to show you later how to change. Uh, and now you are directly, directly connected to this uh, serial device. So you can start uh, entering data and any, any data that will be shown on the device will appear on the screen. How to run special commands with uh, BT is by running the escape character following by another character. So as it says here, the escape character is control right square. 
and you can press the question mark to get some help. So if I press Control right square brackets followed by the question mark, you get a little help. So far, the, the, the options that I've used is Q to quit and uh, T to enable or disable the time, time stamps in the terminal. And of course, the question mark to get the help. I do not need other options th thus far, but I think it's very simple to get started with this tool compared to other tools like Screen or uh, MiniCPIO. I don't know how it's called, but another popular popular uh, serial client, if I can say it like this. Okay, now I can use dash N to wait for a new port to be registered. So if I run it like this, dash N, so it says that three ports have been found and it's waiting for a new one. If I move over to my uh, camera again and I connect my uh, USB serial port like this, we can see if I go back here that uh, a new device has been detected and now I am directly connected to it. So now if I plug in my Raspberry Pi to power, there we go, and I switch to my terminal, you will soon see some data coming. There we go. And so now I can see my Raspberry Pi is booting and I can directly connect, uh, interact with it. So I can organize root and now I can run all the commands I want on my Raspberry Pi. And like I said earlier, earlier, if I go back to the help, if I run the uh, escape character sequence and press T to enable the timestamps to show you the, uh, the feature, now any anytime there is some data coming from the serial device, I will get the timestamps. By default, it's going to be this format, but you can customize it. And something that I found which is very useful is that if you open a program like VI, which is going to take over all the, all the display, you will not get the timestamps inside of it. So I can just use VI normally. And then when I'm finished with it, I get the, the, the timestamps again. So this is a very, very useful tool, which I'm going to use anytime I need to connect to a serial device. Uh, the creator of the project even says so at the bottom in the motivation section, because some tools like Screen and Minicom uh, have inconvenient key mappings, which is something that I've struggled with as well. And uh, Minicom does not have a a scrolling inside the terminal, which makes things like copy and paste a nightmare. And the uh, boot term is very simple in the sense that it solves all of these issues. So if you are looking for a very simple serial client to connect to your serial devices, boot term is a very good recommendation. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I will gladly reply to them. Bye-bye.